So you want to grow a beard. You want to you want a nice big beard. You want a nice healthy beard. But you may be unsure of where to start. Well, on today's video, man, I'm going to give you guys three tips that I'm pretty sure that I guarantee is going to help you along your beard journey, man. So if you want to know these three tips, make sure you watch the video all the way through to the end because I know how y'all are with this audience retention. I'll be looking at the analytics, man, and y'all just be... Y'all just be leaving, but you know what, man? Hey, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy JMO704, and let's jump into these three tips, man, so that y'all can have the best beard possible. With these three tips, man, this is just the foundation for you to grow a healthy beard. Um, one thing that you're going to find throughout this video is moisture think about it like this if you are going to grow a plant you know how is a plant going to grow you know it's going to grow through proper sunlight and water if you got an extremely dry plant and guess what that that thing about to die man oh, and the same God. applies to your beard so the first tip is to take care of your body from the inside out. And the first thing that you wanna do, if you're not doing it already, is getting adequate water intake. And what that is going to do for your beard is going to set the foundation for your skin to be nice and moisturized. It's also going to help your beard get that moisture as well. And so you wanna make sure that you're getting proper water intake daily. For me, you know, I try to get about half my weight in water intake so i weigh about two i fluctuate between 204 205 so i try to get at least half of that in ounces a day so keep that in mind as you're going along your beard journey another thing that you can do you know was working out getting active you know that's going to help with increasing your testosterone production which is also going to help with your beard growth so and really we should be working out anyway working out being active finding a form of exercise that you enjoy whether that's strength training whether that's boxing kickboxing riding a bike i don't know but get out be active and you know and boost that testosterone man so that you can grow your beard all right another thing whenever it comes to taking care of your body is our nutrition so some beard foods that you can start incorporating today. I would say, you know, getting foods that are high in vitamin D, such as, you know, fatty fish like salmon, eggs, yogurt, almonds. You know, you can also incorporate some other foods such as sweet potatoes, avocados. So all of those foods are going to help bring the necessary nutrients that your beard needs in order for it to grow. So again, laying the foundation for your beard to grow. Another thing, whenever it comes to taking care of ourselves, you know, manage your stress levels. You know, you want to make sure that you are managing your stress to the best of your ability, because if not, you know, you can end up with some patches in your beard, which is not going to be a good look. And in addition to managing your stress, you also want to make sure that you are getting proper rest. Tip number two that I have for y'all, man. So we already done talked about what we can do internally. Let's talk about what we can do externally and some mindset things whenever it comes to growing a beard. So the second tip that I have for y'all is using a high quality beard wash and beard oil. So these are non-negotiables whenever it comes to growing your beard. Using a quality beard wash is going to help with, you know, eliminating a lot of that dirt, that salt, those beard products that accumulate in our beard over time. You know, depending on your lifestyle and how active you are, you know, for me, I wash my beard maybe once or twice a week. But for you, you know, if you're out in the elements a lot, if you're sweating every day, then you may want to increase the frequency of your washing using a high quality beard oil that is going to help with, you know, providing that moisture to the skin. Also, in combination with water, even though, you know, the old saying goes oil and water don't mix well, whenever it comes to 
your beard you know you want to make sure that you are locking in that moisture and so whenever you're doing your nighttime grooming routine and you have a damp beard you know that water and that oil they're going to mix together and they're going to lock in and seal in that moisture so that you know your beard isn't drying out through the night and then whenever you wake up in the morning for your beard grooming routine you want to make sure that you reapply some beard oil so that your beard can stay moisturized all throughout the day again here we go with that key word moisture moisturizing you know you want to make sure that you never have a super dry and brittle beard okay beard oil is going to help with keeping your beard really soft especially if you have a you know more coarse beard a more thick beard is going to help with that softness and also you know it's going to help with keeping your beard more manageable so whenever you're running your comb or your pick through it you know you're not gonna have to worry about your comb or your pick getting all snagged in your beard and you pulling out beard hairs prematurely so you know want you guys to get you some high quality beard oils i have done several reviews on some beard oils my last one being uh, a review that i did for beard octane especially if you have like a really itchy or dry beard especially for the skin up underneath make sure y'all go check that out let me know what you think jumping into tip number three so hey this is this is all mindset right here all right patience and consistency so if you look so if you look back here man this is what i talk about on the channel at the end of every video man if it's anything it don't matter what it is that you want to achieve man you got to have patience and you got to have some consistency and so for the purpose of this video we're talking about growing the best beard possible and you want to practice patience whenever it comes to growing your beard you know this is something that doesn't happen overnight you know along your beard journey there are going to be certain products routines that may be sufficient at the beginning of your journey but as your beard starts to grow as your beard hair start to mature you know you may not be able to use some of those same products in the beginning that you're using along your journey i know for me some of the products that i used in the very beginning i'm even ashamed that i even use some of those products but you know with the beard community growing with the evolution of the beard industry more high quality products are being brought out here on the market that increases our chances of being able to find products that are going to be best suited for our beard and two you know being patient through the rough phase you know that awkward phase where you feeling like damn you know i may want to i may want to cut this shit because you know, you might be getting clowned by your family. Your friends might be telling you like, damn, why the hell you got that beard? You know, ignoring the haters, ignoring the detractors, man. And if growing a beard is something that you really want to do, then, hey, man, I'm going to encourage you to have that patience throughout the journey. Consistency. You know, you want to be consistent with your beard grooming routine, you know, from your nighttime grooming routine to your daytime grooming routine. You want to be consistent all the way around. And another reason why you want to be consistent is because you want to see if the products that you are using are going to work for your beard. If you're only doing your routine for part of the week and then you're being really lazy, especially if you're super new to growing a beard, you're not gonna know what products or what routine is going to be best suited for your beard. You know, so again, being consistent with your nutrition, working out, getting quality rest, you know, getting your vitamins and supplements in, drinking your water, you got to be consistent all the way around, man, just so that you can see if like, hey, you know, are the things that I'm doing, is it working for my beard? Do I need to switch some things up? If you've been consistent, then you can say like, OK, well, you know what? This beard oil doesn't necessarily gel well with with my beard. These products don't necessarily suit well with my beard. But you know what? This routine, these products do suit well with my beard. All right. So those are my three tips for you to grow the best beard possible if you found any value from any of the tips that i provided for you guys today make sure you go ahead hit that like button hit the subscribe button man my goal here on the channel is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year 
and I mean I'm seeing the numbers go up man I'm seeing y'all subscribing to the channel which I greatly wholeheartedly appreciate so help your boy out and I'm gonna keep coming with this content man so with that being said if there's anything that you ever want to do in life remember that it requires patience consistency and more importantly it don't happen overnight see y'all on the next video peace